I don't know why I hit the record button. I need to do the stab first. Put your pussy lips on live, I'll give you a thousand dollars. That's the good shit! What is up, my dudes? It's your boy, Skinny Penis, and I'm back with another one. Today, we are checking out Valeno Maelstrom, Betrayer of Mine. One of the band members of this band hit me up today asking me for what the ever so long and grueling process would be to get a reactor of my caliber to look at this song and uh, it's very long indeed. Step one, send me the link. Step two, tell me how to pronounce your band name. <laughs> I'm never gonna live down the Traumatomy incident. Anyway, this is a debut single. I don't know anything about this band. Didn't do any research, didn't really ask a lot of questions. Figured we would just yee claw our way into it. So. Uh, there is no video for this as of this recording, so that might change by the time I get this video out. So if there is a video on YouTube, I will drop that link down in the description. But as for right now, I am doing this on Spotify, and since Spotify doesn't have anything cool or exciting for you guys to listen to as we react to this, I am going to put up a picture of a cat. Enjoy that. Let's get it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. that was dirty. What was that? Crank this a little bit. It's very chucky, but it's very head bobby. Nice. I love the drum work on this. Nice. There it is. That is catchy. Nice harmony. I love that so much. Oh. I have thoughts, but we'll save them till the end. You may have a like. Okay. Now, um, normally I like to talk about the mix and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep my thoughts on the mix pretty minimal 
for this one due to the fact that I was reacting to it on Spotify. And one of the reasons I don't like reacting to things on Spotify as much as I be is because you're streaming it on a platform like this. It's compressing it so much um, that, frankly, in my opinion, YouTube gives a better quality of musical sound. So any notes I may have had about the mix is honestly probably Spotify fucking y'all over a little bit. Um, man, for a first single, this is pretty cool. It did get a little chuggy. Um, you know, I kind of kept waiting for uh, something else to happen there for a little bit in certain parts, and the chugs just kept a rolling, and I don't dislike that. I don't hate it. Um, the ADHD in me was just like, I need something else in here. But, you know, right when I would have gotten to that point where I would have been annoyed with it, you know, you guys threw in the harmonies or that cool lead shit, the vocal te uh, tone changed up. Um, I don't know what that vocal technique is where y'all, like, kind of start lower and then slowly raise up the volume. Um, I'm not even going to try to imitate it. I'm not a vocalist. I'm bassist. Bass go burp burp. But I love that vocal technique if it's placed well. And, man, that was just... <laughs> uh, it was good. It was very good, but it kind of reminds me of the Artist Martyr in their uh, Holy War era, you know, where it was very, very chug pattern kind of stuff with cool leads and whatnot. The drums on this, I, I didn't get your drummer's name. Uh, I only talked to Cody briefly in uh, messages, but he said his drummer is from Italy, if I remember correctly. And uh, your drummer has some really cool little fills that he threw in there. Uh, it's a very interesting play style that... You know, especially, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and say this is deathcore, and a lot of deathcore drummers just, like, fast as fuck, you know, like, and that's all they do, you know, like, so it's cool to hear some head bobby instrumental kind of fill stuff in there on the drums. Um, words are hard right now. Man, especially for a debut single, this is a, this is pretty solid. Um, it's It shows a lot of potential on what you guys want to do, because the first single is never like the the finished idea you know like this is what you were working on this is what you have i haven't talked to a single band that doesn't tear apart their first single on which they had done things differently um this is one i feel like you guys can take some pride in you know it's it's pretty solid i enjoyed it i mean i gave it a like that means it's going to come up on my playlist i wouldn't have done that if you know i didn't like it so kudos guys I think I'm going to go ahead and follow you guys on here, and as my boy Palpatine said, we will watch your career with great interest. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to support, uh, I'm not even going to try to say the name again, uh, but support the band, check them out, follow them on the social medias, I drop all that shit in the description, and uh, let me know who I should check out next, guys. Say hello to the YouTube family, Miss Nova. Can't see the bitch, can't can't see the bitch, can't see the bitch, can't can't see the bitch. She's only tolerating this because she wants fed early. <laughs>